Outdoor Traveler presents White Sands National Monument. Please like and share the video. I'm going to give you a small tour. I'm going to go through some of the dunes with you and give you a general idea of what to expect when you get here. Make sure to like and share the Traveler on whatever video channel you're watching or on the website. Thanks. I'm here at the Dune Life Nature Trail and you can see we're going to get started here. I'm going to give you a short tour of this trail and it's a general idea of what you're going to find out here at the park. So let's go, let's see what we got here on the dunes. Sometimes I do commentary on these videos. Sometimes I play music. It just kind of depends. You know how tired you are but it's a very interesting drive here and the north side of the Lincoln National Forest is pretty close by so that's the way I came in and I highly recommend that route it's very scenic and it's quite beautiful and this is obviously very unique so I thought I'd stop here let everybody see what it looks like. So hopefully, next time they come around to the southwest or into New Mexico or Texas, possibly Arizona, they can swing over. It's it's, it's it, the sand is not very sandy. It's actually so fine. It's more like talcum powder. So I'm going to show you firsthand view what to expect when you get here. Now I'm in the evening, early evening, so I don't get too terribly burned or hot. Here we go. It's actually quite hard to walk. It's like you need snowshoes. Let's get up here. Get a view. So I've had some people with breathing issues that have asked about it. Because if the sand's super fine, you know, Will it coat their lungs or something? So let's see. And you know, it's not that bad. It's it's just over super white. It is fine sand, but it's very sandy. So I think unless the wind is blowing hard, which would take away your visibility, I think you'd be okay. I'm gonna try to keep this video in total under 30 minutes so it's easier for you to download. But let's get you in kind of a 3D view of what to expect. This particular trail that I'm on is not very big, it's only about a mile, 1.1 miles is what it said which is very doable and of course if you get too tired you can always turn back the car's pretty close by um, I probably would not recommend coming here at the heat of the day just because white sand reflects the light pretty intensely Kind of venturing off, I think, the trail a little bit. Let me get some views over here. 
Now, I'm pretty white, so I usually get pretty hot right about now, but it's pretty cool today. Uh, it is higher, ele higher elevation, so it's definitely helping. Okay. Wow, isn't that beautiful? As you can see, there's different kinds of territory mixed in. Let's see. Look at that wind blowing one. That's just absolutely magnificent looking. It's like being out in Africa. See the mountains off there in our distance. Let's see what kind of brush this is. Yeah, this is sage. I mean, this is the kind of sage you pay money for in a grocery store. It's pretty good. It's wild. All right. I'm going to, I think, venture up that crevice there, hopefully. I'm going to run out of breath. been pretty busy today. less walking but let's see it can get quite steep Sideways. Kind of makes it easier to go up. I'm going to walk the caps for the view. Blaring at you. Wind will make you noisy. I'll probably just play music, check out some of the commentary. I think the main thing people want to see is just to get an idea of what it looks like. And I hope that Explore Traveler helps you with that small glimpse into the possibilities. And please keep in mind that we kind of do this for free and um, for people to see everything we need your support liking and sharing on YouTube and other channels. How is it? Beautiful. Yeah, it's nice. 
especially this way. It's got real, really nice view. Anyway. I, I particularly took this way. Yeah, it was hard to walk up, but it's fun. That's what? Sierra Parker. Oh, okay. Oh, great. Have a good day. Another fellow hiker out here. some markers but I think these tips of these dunes are pretty cool and it kind of allows me to give you a better view so you can see right here that's where I came from and I climbed up up there see there's some more hikers over there not a lot of people are out yet because of still shut down, but uh, it's kind of nice to get out. I recommend that people do do that. Whoa, you can see my shadow. So I'm towards the end of this, this uh, mile hike now, and as you can see, man, this all kind of looks similar in nature, but uh, this is a great place to, I think, go on a hike, um, pick shoes that you're going to find comfortable, that you can get the sand out, you might have to sit down on top of one of these dunes, and break and that's what I did and kind of scan and get the get the sand out of your shoes. This is not a difficult place to get to. It is close to some interstates so if you're in the interstate system in the southwest I think you can get here pretty quick. If you come from some of the more Marumbo areas there's one go through El Paso probably coming from California or coming from Texas, South Texas at least. So you'll get a lot of uh, I think a lot of bang for your buck for road conditions and stuff. So this is the sand dunes. Hey everyone, so please take the time to like and share, follow us, follow our website, uh, keep checking back on the website, YouTube channel, wherever channel you're seeing this at. Um, the 
website is where everything gets to. I'll have an article that I'll have posted or I'll update an older article with more information like this video. See, so you can see the tour. And so it's beautiful. Nice sunny blue skies. So thank you everyone for your support and please uh, support us by subscribing to our channels and visiting the website exploretraveler.com. All right, I just finished the driving tour and I'm gonna add this to the end of that, that particular small video. Uh, I might do some more driving tours of different places, probably some of our Alaska trips to give you more of an understanding, you know, drive around, what it looks like if you wanna to move to an area. Um, please, uh, you know, if you look down below, I'm gonna have links to an article if you're looking at this on YouTube. And so I welcome you to check that out and if you go look above make sure you subscribe and down below uh, make sure you like and share please share uh, we want to get you know better ranking in youtube for some of our other videos um, you know our videos are getting more professional as time goes on but you're going to see with our stuff it's very fresh um, mostly we keep things pretty up to date and if it's not if it is older it's still very relevant so you know take a look at our underwater dive videos take a look at some of our slideshows um, we try to share a ton of information it's all based off of the website at exploretraveler.com okay so I thought uh, now that I got done with the tour, I need to drive out and it's kind of cool on the way out as well Just driving through it and I'll give you a general idea what it looks like on the way out Which means you can just reverse and that's the way in. All right, here we go it was not as hot as I was expecting and the sand wasn't as baby fine as I was expecting so I think those that have lung conditions um, I think they'll be okay as long as it's not like really windy right if it's like super windy you're gonna breathe a lot of sand you better be careful uh, I think the cautions I'd have is of course this is a very dry high desert area make sure you have water with you make sure you have sunscreen make sure you have a good hat to keep the sun off the high points of your face um, if you're fair skinned you might want to consider some long sleeves maybe even long sleeve pants right now I was wearing shorts so I'm fairly fair skinned but I do tan eventually um, park rangers and fellow hikers are very nice everybody's very friendly uh, it was an enjoyable trip and I did some closings and some openings and I, I mean I hope people will consider uh, coming out here it's very unique I mean usually you see sand dunes on the beach it's not every day you can see it in the middle of the desert like this so it's pretty cool as you can see it's got sand dunes everywhere and this is just a, a very small piece of the park that I'm showing you just on the road here. This goes on for miles, so um, it's a great adventure. They basically said you need to be out by 9.30 p.m. So that's not a big deal. The vistas, if you climb the top of these dunes, are pretty cool. a lot of these yucca plants are kind of come a lot of the desert foliage is beginning to bloom our fellow travelers and so if the wind's like super windy I could see that the visibility would be really low it'd be like going through a, a snowstorm so just kind of keep that in mind you 
want to uh, always have safety first. But it's just beautiful sand. And the sage, you, it, you know, if you smell it, it smells like really good. So you can see some of the sand dancing on the road there. This whole road, I can see it being totally covered in sand. If they didn't maintain this, it probably would be covered in sand. So they must come through here and like use a sand blower, like a snow blower. There's one of the trails that went to earlier today. It's at the beginning of the, the video, or possibly this is a second video. Big buses of people coming in. That's nice. It's nice to see people coming in on tours. So we're starting to come out of the dunes a little. You can see off to the left, you don't even see dunes anymore. You just see the high mountains off in the distance. start at this entrance up here. on the article itself you're going to notice that I, I actually add more content to these articles over time because I'll come back to a location um, such as this and you know, I'll get additional video um, Karen will get some really good photographs that are like super professional high quality and so you know I like to update and I add stuff Mommy. 
museum here. And I think next time I come down, I'll get some footage of the museum added. So thank you very much and please remember to like and share our videos um, and if you're watching this via the website at exploretraveler.com please share the website it helps us get uh, more backlinks and helps us reach more people we do this as it's basically just kind of a, a charity we want people to get out and explore their surroundings in the United States and we've got stuff on the website and that's why there's a search function um, Europe Asia the Middle East so there's a lot going on on that website we've got years and years of content there so we welcome you and we hope that you will check it all out